Hi, it's Andy again, and this is another Firebase Android tutorial. Uh, today we are going to discuss authentication. So what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to enable uh, authentication for Google Sign-In. Um, this will we'll build a UI that allows the user to sign in via Google. And uh, we're also going to protect our database to make sure that nobody can read or write it without being authenticated. Uh, so we're going to need to do two things. Uh, first, let's go into authentication. And as you can see, I've already tested it, that it is working. We're going to go into sign in method here, and we're going to enable Google. And uh, you can enable other, other ways as well. Uh, you can do email and password or Facebook, Twitter, GitHub. Uh, I'm just going to do a Google one uh, today. Um, and then uh, the next thing we need to do is go into our database. Because uh, right now, um, everybody can read our database. There is no limitations at all. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing, except it can, I guess, use your um, allotment for bandwidth. Uh, if another program or app writes a way to read your uh, database if it's public like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this part here. And we're going to move it to the read section. And we're going to publish this. And uh, what this does is it's just saying that um, as long as the authentication is not null, uh, the user will not be able to, uh, no one will be able to read your database. So this is going to add another layer of security for your online database. OK, so let's go into what we're going to code today. So we need to create a few um, additions to our main activity. And we're going to need to create another activity. And we're going to call this one sign-in activity. And uh, as far as the UI for the sign-in activity, it's just a text view. And then this uh, special sign-in button uh, from Calm Google Android GMS Common Sign-in uh, sign-in button. But you won't be able to get this. Um, actually, sorry, you will because we'll be en enabling Google Play services already. Uh, but what you won't be able to test this on the latest version available uh, in the emulator um, right now. Uh, let's see. This is uh, a, a build. Android Nougat build uh, um, API 24 system image. So if we go into our settings here and then go into uh, apps, and then we're going to go to our Google Play services. All right, let's do this. Google Play services. We'll notice that the version on here states it's 9.8.75. And uh, the current version is 9.8.0, so it should work. But I kept getting this error saying that Google Play Services was out of date and it needed to be updated. Or actually, this is 7.1. I forgot. This is actually uh, uh, the latest build available. So uh, in 7.1.1. So just um, what I ended up doing is I rolled it back to 9.6.1. And I, I found out that this actually worked pretty well for me. So um, one of the things that I, I, I tested was uh, I needed to figure out what Firebase UI version I needed um, for the 9.6.1. And uh, it's actually posted on their Firebase UI Android uh, GitHub account. So uh, if you just scroll down, you can see like the, the additions that they've done. And once you're done with this, you can actually test this on a physical device with 1.0.0, and it works fine. Uh, same with 9.8. It works on devices that are running uh, Android right now. Um, for some reason, this is just an emulator issue. So to show you, I've rolled these back and kept everything else current. All right, so um, first let's go into our main activity because we need to add... Um, a few lines of code in here so that we can launch the sign-in activity if uh, there isn't a user signed in. So uh, first thing we need to do is implement the Google API client on connection failed listener if that hasn't already been done uh, and then create this um, method called on, on connection failed. 
And all this is going to do is display a toast on the device if there's no uh, uh, Google APIs. And it says uh, Google Play Services error. So you're going to make sure if you're going to test this on an emulator that you use an emulator with uh, Google Play Services um, added in that image. Okay. So next thing we're going to need to do is scroll down to step one right here. So step one, we're going to add some, we're going to create some variables. We're going to need to create a Firebase auth variable, a Firebase user variable. Uh, these are not necessary for this step yet. Uh, and then we're going to initialize them. So for Firebase auth, um, going to say firebase auth .get instance, and then for the user we're going to take that firebase auth and uh, get current user so that's the anonymous user that's just using the device for the first uh, the app for the first time uh, and then if that firebase user is null so they haven't really been created uh, we're going to start this activity um, so they're going to start a new intent. Uh, the context will be this main activity. And then we're going to start sign in activity, which we'll go into in just a second. Uh, finish and return. Else, if there is a user logged in, uh, we want to make sure that we get their username. And if they have a photo available, we grab that as well. So up above here, I also created two variables here private string username and private string um, and photo URL but I'm not actually displaying this information anywhere yet uh, I plan to add that in a navigation drawer in the future but it's nice that we can actually have it stored already okay so next step uh, if we we need to initialize our M Google API client so that's another variable that we've created up here. So it'll be a new Google API client builder uh, with this context. Uh, enable auto manage this and this. Add API auth .google sign in API and build it. And we're going to use this later on. So if we scroll down, uh, we've already used this information here. And later on, we'll discuss this part. This is actually going to be used for signing the, out the user. Uh, so we've created all the stuff we need to sign in uh, in our main activity. Uh, to sign out the user, um, I created a little menu, and all it says is sign out. So it's just a little um, pushable text in the top right corner. And um, when that gets selected, we're going to sign out the user in Firebase. And we're also going to uh, sign out the user uh, with the and deauthorize um, this use in this app. We're then going to set the user to null, uh, set the username and the photo URL to null. And then we're going to go back to our sign in activity. All right, so let's build our sign in activity. So this is regular activity, um, and it's going to implement the Google API client on connection failed listener, and also uh, the on click listener. And uh, the two methods that get created when you add these are uh, the same one that's in the main activity for this on connection failed, and then the other one is going to be this um, on click. We're going to get to that in a second. So. First thing we're going to do is create our uh, instance variables. Um, create the string for logging purposes if you would would like. You can. We're going to need this RC sign in, and it, you can put any random number here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's not used anywhere else in your app for um, uh, as a static in, uh, in, integer. So. Um, this one's 9001. It's actually what Google provides in their, in their uh, tutorial, so I just kept it. Uh, we're going to create a, the sign-in button. 
which is just this sign in button here. And uh, initialize, we're going to create an instance variable for, for our Google API client. And also, we're going to need to create one for Firebase auth. So in our onCreate method, we need to initialize our sign in button and then set the onClick listener to this, which is what we did up here. Um, you're registering sign in activity as the um, uh, context for that. So uh, that's why we had to create this on click. And then uh, next we're going to uh, configure the Google sign in. So for Google sign in, you have the sign in options uh, builder, and um, we're just going to use the default sign in. Uh, request ID token and request email. And then uh, for our API client, we're going to use an, a builder for that as well. Enable auto message just like we did in auto manage, sorry, uh, just like we did in the main activity for signing out. Uh, add an API for the Google sign in API with these options, the sign in options, and we're going to build that. And then we need to initialize Firebase auth. So what's going to happen now? So when the user clicks on that sign in button, we're going to create we've created this sign in method. And all that does is creates a new intent uh, for uh, a special activity for Google sign in or uh, it might actually just display a little fragment on the screen if you're already signed into a device or it will go through the entire process of logging you into a device if there was no register Google account attached to it. So then we need to uh, listen for um, when that goes back to our activity. We want to say start activity for result. Uh, and then we're going to listen to the information that we get back and save that data. So the next step is creating a method uh, public void on activity result. So this gets called, oh sorry, so this is what's uh, important we need to add this RC sign in and it has to be unique for this particular um, event because we can create multiple start activity for uh, results with different IDs and um, and then we can have this one method listen for a request code all right um, so this this method gets called when it returns back to your app um, after the user has logged in or if there's any kind of issue it, it returns back to the app of origin and we can listen to the data that that's bundled in and get information from that so these two the request code and the result code allow us to uh, filter out what's going to happen depending on um, what initiated the the new activity and then uh, what the outcome was, but this is this is the data is going to be what holds all the information that we're going to need. So, if your request code is this RC sign-in, which it is, it's the only one we're using in this um, particular activity. Uh, we're going to create a new uh, result, Google sign-in result. Uh, we're going to, which is to initialize that. It's an auth Google sign-in API dot get sign in result from intent and then the data that data is what's what uh, the Google sign in API is throwing back to your app if your result is a success we're gonna create a sign in account uh, which is results dot get sign in account and then we're gonna create this method in a little bit down here called Firebase auth with Google and we're gonna pass in that account if it fails or if it's some anything else we're going to just log that the google sign in failed and you'll be able to read that in your um, uh, android monitor okay so this uh this next step is we're going to create this method for signing in with google which takes in this uh, google sign in account that we passed in um, so what we really need is a credential some kind of uh, ID. We're also going to need the username and uh, also a photo URL or whatever, like a email and a photo URL. And we're going to register that as the Firebase user. 
So to get that, we need to get the auth um, credential. And that's a Google auth provider dot get credential. And that's going to be this account. And it's going to be the ID token of that account. And then we can use mfirebase.auth that sign in with credential. And we're going to pass in that credential that we just got. And uh, this is an incomplete listener. So this is going to give you either a success or a failure when we try to sign in with that authorization uh, token. And then um, on complete, it's going to give you the result of the task. So if the task was not successful, all of this does is create a little toast message that says that authentication failed. Uh, otherwise, we've already saved the user in the back end. Um, now we can just go back to our main activity. That's all this is calling. And uh, that's it. That's our app uh, for logging in. Let's run this and see what happens. All right. So we'll let that build. This shouldn't take too long. All right, there we go, no errors. And it's gonna send it to our device. First, it's gonna launch main activity, which is gonna say there's no user, and it's gonna send us over back to the sign-in activity. So we're gonna click sign in. I'm already logged into this device, so it should just pull up a little um, box for me to sign in. All right, let's try that again little box to sign in there we go and then um, I'm going to select my accounts and then we're going to go back to the main activity and then we have access to um, the database again so when I click sign out it logs me out and then sends me back to that sign in activity so I hope you like this tutorial and uh, let me know if you have any questions all right have a good day